Alrighty guys, it's Amit here and welcome back to DevDreamer. Now in this lesson then, I want to talk to you about block level elements and inline level elements. Now in the previous lesson we looked at uh, the paragraph element and the heading elements as well. So that was the H1 to H6 elements. Now those two are known as block level elements. And basically all HTML elements will come with a default display. And for the most part that's going to be either a block level element or an inline level element. Now what do they both mean? First, let's take a look at block level elements. So let's go for a paragraph element, which is uh, which is block level. And let's just type something in here. Let's just go for dev streamer. Now, you might not see it, but this paragraph element actually spans the whole width of this page. And that's because block level elements do just that. They span the whole width of the actual page. So even if I were to um, increase the size of the browser window here, this paragraph element is spanning the whole width. Now, whether we can see that visually on the actual page is just by doing some CSS styling. So let's just go to our CSS file and select the paragraph. And I'll just say outline on pixel solid red. This isn't important to know. We'll look at CSS a bit further on down the line. This is just so that we can see um, the actual outline of our paragraph element. Okay, so as you can see then, this really does span the whole width of the page. And if I increase the size of the page, you can see it still does the same thing. And as I said, that's because the paragraph element is known as a block level element. That is its default display. Uh, it's the same thing with the H1 as well. That would also be a block level element. Now, the other thing you need to know, know about block level elements is that they start on a new line. So before we look at another block level element, let's take a look at inline elements. So an inline element is basically an element that only uses up the total amount it actually needs. So for example, an inline element we're going to look at in the next video is the span tag. So in here, let's just type in, uh, let's type in the same thing actually, Dev Dreamer. For the inline uh, element, this only takes up the exact amount it actually needs. So if you were to put an outline on the span tag as well, so let's just go here and just say span, get rid of caps lock, span, and I'm just going to copy this because I'm lazy. Save. And as you can see, with the inline element, with our span uh, span element, it actually only has a width equal to the text inside. Okay. And the other thing about the inline element is that they start on the same line. So if you were to add a second span element here, um, and we'll just type in, I don't know, let's just say hello. As you can see, it's started on that same line. And again, it's only taken up the amount of um, the width that it actually uh, requires. If we were to include a block level element here, you'll see that it won't start on the same line, it will start on a new line and it will take up the whole uh, width of the page. So let's go for, um, let's say H3, that I am on a new line. As you can see, it started on a new line and let's just style this again. Uh, it would actually be easier if we just do this. Span and h3. Um, again guys we'll look at CSS a bit later on down the line um, but essentially then it's done the same thing so as this was a block level element it spanned the whole page. Now there is another type of display element called an inline block so it's sort of a mixture of the two and that basically allows us to um, add a width and a height onto our span elements so at the moment if we try to style this uh, span element in terms of the width or height You'll see that it won't take effect. So let's just take a look at that. Um, I'll just a span. And if I was to say let's increase the height of both these spans, let's increase the height to say I don't know 100 pixels. Nothing, nothing has happened. That's because you cannot style inline elements. However, if this was an inline block level element, then we can add this particular styling. So if I come to here and just do display inline block. You can see now it's actually increased by well 100 pixels okay and again guys i really want to stress we'll take a look at all of this a bit later on down the line when we come to look at css okay so that's it for this lesson guys i hope you've learned something new hope you now understand what block level elements are and inline level elements in the next lesson we're going to take a look at this span tag in a bit more detail um, and we'll also be looking at the comments tag as well and as you'll see, that's going to be very, very useful, especially when you're sharing your code with other people. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found it useful. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.